Hi everyone, welcome to this WBZ Web Update. I'm Ken McLeod and here are some of the stories making news right now. A security scare at the Manchester Boston Regional Airport forced the evacuation of the terminal and delayed travel plans for hundreds of passengers. The airport has since reopened and flights have resumed. Airport operations received a call this morning from someone making a threat against Spirit Airlines Flight 2025. That plane was set to fly from Manchester to Tampa. But passengers and baggage had to be rescreened across the entire airport. And specially trained dogs were summoned to sweep both the aircraft and the airport terminal. The flight ended up taking off about four hours late and arrived in Tampa just a short time ago. Two teens were hurt when the vehicle they were in rolled over in a Kushnet this afternoon. Police were called to Robinson Road just after 2.30 and found the car on its roof there. The two 18-year-olds were transported to Rhode Island Hospital. We don't have any update on their conditions at this point. A Kushnet police are investigating what led up to that crash. St. Joseph Prep in Brighton will close permanently at the end of this school year. In a letter addressed to the St. Joseph community, the Board of Trustees says insurmountable financial pressures led to the decision to close the high school. About 250 students and more than 40 staffers are impacted. The school has served that community for more than 135 years. Let's get a check on that forecast now. Not as warm as your Friday, but still a pretty decent Saturday for February. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff is here now. He's watching a storm that'll clip the south coast and Cape on Sunday night. Yeah, it could bring us a couple of showers here or there. That's hanging out right now in the south along the Gulf Coast. But overall, over the next 24 hours, we're looking pretty good. In fact, tomorrow, we're going to start out with temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s eventually catapulting us right into the upper 40s and low 50s for our afternoon highs. Pretty comfortable Sunday, another winter day masquerading like a spring day heading into tomorrow. Now we are dry on our satellite and radar, nothing to worry about this evening. There's that system we're watching. It is going to make an ever so close approach to us, and I think the best rain chances are going to be for the upper Cape, towards Cape, uh, the mid and outer Cape too, and the islands as you get farther to the north and west, the less and less of a rain chance there will be. That would be very early on Monday morning, and it plays out like this with future casts. We build those clouds throughout the day on Sunday. The best rain chance is really Route 44 and south. North of there, we're going to remain mainly dry, and then we clear out heading into Monday. Now, Monday night into Tuesday, there's going to be another little wave that kind of pushes through. Could deliver us a couple of flurries here or there, conversational flurries at best. Uh, scattered flurries north of the pike as you go towards the Merrimack Valley and into Cape Ann in northern Worcester County. Best chance that would be again Monday night into very early on Tuesday. But because we haven't had any snow, literally just a trace of snow for what is on average our snowiest month of February. It, any snow is conversational snow at this point, uh, picking up just 7.9 inches for the season. And looking at the extended forecast, we really don't have any snow chances in the extended forecast either. You're talking above average all the way into Friday, even record setting warmth for Thursday, cool down heading into next weekend. So there's your seven day forecast. Ken, back to you. All right, Jacob, thanks. That is a check on your top stories from CBSBoston.com. We hope you have a great night and we'll see you next time.